because I wonder how you feel, like hypothetically. Mm -hmm. If I'm talking to a straight man and he does something, I don't know, different, let's just say different in respect to the LGBT community, right? And I'm like, yo, that's gay. Does that offend you? Me? No. All right, so why, do, and it's because you're different, but it does offend so many people in the LGBT community. Why? And I think the reason why it offends people is because when you say in the context of saying that's gay, it's like, okay, well, what's wrong with being gay? Mm -hmm. So when you put it in the context of saying that's gay, you're putting it in the context of saying it's something wrong with being gay because now you're trying to isolate or you're trying to alienize something he did as to equal in the two that's gay. And you already know the structure of how people feel about gays. You already know the structure of how people feel about the LGBT community. So it's kind of like, when you say that's gay, you, you putting it in the context of, no, that's, that's weird. That's, that's different. That's wrong. But I would say playing devil's, and nah, not even playing devil's advocate. I'm gonna be honest. Just how I grew up. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be straight up, right? Hope I don't get canceled, but I'm gonna just be real. Um, I do feel like, you know, uh, Growing up in the communities that we grew up in, you say you Savannah, right? Baltimore, like we not we not taught these things, right? I so know. even before we get to gay, we were talk we was calling people retarded. That's not nice. At you all. know what I'm saying? But we don't see people getting canceled for that. Mm -hmm. We was calling people uh, all type of things. You feel me? So mm -hmm. imagine I'm making fun of somebody that has a I'm making fun of somebody saying they have they are retarded when being retarded is literally a mental illness. That's not yeah. right. We don't see I'm sorry, we don't see people getting canceled for that, but we see people getting canceled for calling people gay. I just, I feel like it's, I don't want to say bigger problems, but I feel like almost there are other problems in the world that we could fix. Or, and think, it's not personal. So it's like, if you're not going to take it personal when we call somebody retarded, why are you taking it personal when we call somebody gay? I, I don't know. Help me out. I, I think that we've come a long way, but when it comes to gays, they try to make us instinct. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm using the correct word okay. of what dinosaurs are. Okay. But... So when you're dealing with a community that is at the bottom or what is supposed to be at the bottom of the food chain, mm. you have to be careful in the context of how you use certain words. Mm. When you're dealing with a group of people who are alienized, you have to be careful with using certain words. It's kind of like saying to a girl that is dark skin, oh, you so pretty to be a dark skin girl. That's true. You did not mean it like that. You did not mean it in the concept of trying to offend her, but you have to be sensitive when it comes to that because you already know the obstacles they fight and you already know the, the, the things they're coming against. You already know the situations that they have to go through every day because it's not normalized and they're at the bottom of the food chain. So when you say certain things like, oh, that's gay, or oh, that's homo, it's kind of like dangerous, mm. because now you're only adding on to what if that man was like down low or bisexual in the inside, and he never shared it because of reason of feeling like, ooh, they're gonna isolate me, ooh, they're gonna alienize me, and then you say something on the context of ooh, that's gay, making mm. it seem like ugh, what, what the fuck you doing that for? It's only gonna play with him even more to say, let me keep this shit to myself. That is so, yo, it's so much